Yeah. Nice. This one. How is it going, Andrew? Uh, it's going great. Can't actually <laughs> show the logo. <laughs> it's reversed. Uh, uh, yeah, it's going quite well. In London, it's uh, not really good weather today, mm -hmm. so it's it's a great uh, time to have some stream, morning stream about technology, oh, definitely. right? Yeah, and we skipped the last time. Uh, yeah, uh, so we have to do something extra today. So what's our plan, uh, Andrew? What do we want to achieve? What we gonna? So today we. We're probably not uh, having some strong goals to achieve uh, very uh, strong uh, deadlines, I would say. Yeah, we're just yeah. gonna gonna have a look in, into three different technologies mm -hmm. uh, with Alex and see. Probably mostly just try them and see how easy each of them. Maybe later we we're gonna have a look uh, a bit deeper. Uh, trying to understand what what's the benefit of each technology. Mm -hmm. So today we're gonna speak about uh, Node.js uh, versus uh, Dino versus Bun. Yeah, correct. Uh, that's right. Yeah, and uh, indeed we uh, might not achieve everything today, but I think um, we will at least start. Uh, okay. I think uh, my shell is ready. Um, yeah, let me share my terminal. So now you should see a really big white terminal in here. Um, yeah. The the, yeah. the first question: Why is why is it white? I, yeah, I just like it uh, to be white, uh, honestly. Uh, yeah, I, so uh, indeed it's called uh, Node.js uh, versus um, Dino versus Bun. Uh, so we start with uh, Node.js. Um, okay, it's, it's already complaining. Kause, uh, yeah, that's one of uh, my favorite uh, <coughs> Node.js uh, ever. Node.js versus Dino versus Bun.sh. Sorry. Uh, could you comment what what Kauf say? Yeah, exactly. That's so one of the greatest ever applications written in uh, Node.js and JavaScript. That's uh, what it does, basically. <laughs> oh, wow. So it, it, it draws the core. Cow. <laughs> it, it draws a cow and you can also um, put a message so a cow says something. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Um, yeah, so what to do? Um, it's actually, yeah, we, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Andrew, have you ever tried uh, Dino and Bun.sh uh, before? Never. Uh, to, never. To be honest, I, I, I never even read about Dino. Uh, I read about Bun, but not Dino. And okay. yeah, okay. as I discovered it, it's, it's there for, for quite a long time already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I tried Dino, uh, not uh, not um, uh, know it very well, uh, but um, yeah, I, I know a little bit of uh, architecture. How, what's the uh, difference with Node.js? So the idea is that uh, maybe we can um, start, start with uh, some, uh, I don't know, uh, e simple web server. Uh, let's uh, first run it in uh, Node.js and then uh, try to run it with Dino and actually that is already an interesting question because uh, Dino is a, like a complete uh, different uh, JavaScript uh, runtime environment. Uh, but they introduced since um, latest version, if, I, uh, if I'm correct, um, they introduced uh, the uh, full support from the box of uh, Node.js module. Well, full support. Uh, it's not uh, not a hundred percent, but uh, they uh, um, they cover most APIs, I think uh, number is close to 90%, if I'm not mistaken. So it would work theoretically from the box if we just run a node app.js and it works in node.js. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering if that will uh, work as is uh, with a Dino or not. So previously it was not the case. You had to introduce some intermediate um, um, model. You could um, import it and uh, it uh, will bring you a bridge between these environments. 
so if I understood correctly, the news now is not the case. <clears throat> but uh, let's begin with Node.js. I actually think we should uh, do it in Docker uh, first. In, in Docker first. So um, I think uh, the first uh, thing I will run is a Docker pool node latest, right, uh, Andrew? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe to use some specific version. So like 18, 18. something. Okay. Uh, I think our latest is like latest stable, so it should be 18 as well. And, and it's now done loading. Uh, and uh, then it will be having, uh, we will have for the um, uh, base, uh, base container, uh, base image on local with a node inside. And I want to actually uh, install, I want to make an application already in a Docker image. Uh, so I don't um, don't have to uh, add something to my system. I don't have to install anything to my system. That's interesting. Is it easy to do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sort of, yeah. It, it takes some time, I see. Mm. And, and and then um, an idea is that we also will do the same with um, uh, with Bun and um, and Dino, uh, but I didn't check if they have um, um, images. Well, probably they do. Guide me, Andrew. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just checking. I'm just checking uh, mm -hmm. images for Bun. Mm -hmm. Okay. It seems to be there. Yeah, yeah it's uh, a bit uh, a bit silly to watch how uh, how our images are pulling from a Docker registry, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, maybe we can start, uh, you know, creating our express application in some. In another yeah, exactly. top of the terminal. I, I wanted I wanted to do it in in a running container like um, ah okay completely erased. Maybe it's okay. uh, it's also not a good plan, but um, yeah. But you, uh, uh, you you mean like what like still use some volume Docker volume right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, that, that is uh, mm -hmm. yeah that that can uh, uh, that should be. Uh, better to use a local volume and then attach it to a running containers, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 why you could start developing already now, right? Yeah, yeah. But true. anyway, it's ready. <coughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, let's make a, a directory for today's uh, topic, Node.js versus uh, Dino versus uh, Bun, CD Node.js Dino Bun. Um, okay, so uh, what what I thought um, uh, to make um, a simple a web server running is actually, um, yeah, I, I prefer uh, for that um, uh, for that to use Express actually. Uh, yeah, I know Express is a quite an old schoolish uh, library, and it's not um, it's not um, evolving to something uh, uh, to something modern uh, anymore. Uh, but that's um, fine for for things like uh, we're doing today, because um, um, yeah, we want really a, a, some simple web server, and we want to see if that will be will be working fine with other environments. Um, Okay, so uh, npx, uh, and then uh, I want to have um, express generator, I think uh, this library called express uh, generator, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check it actually. <laughs> it, uh, in, in Google, it shows me, uh, shows me some ra radiator so you can order some radiator. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah uh, express generator yay all right 
<coughs> so, so we have a folded this uh, this guy here uh, if we do tree here it's, it looks like that so we have a public um, folder with uh, some static files we have routes we have uh, views with um, and uh, the main functionality I believe should be in uh, app.js here and also in w, uh, www so let's quickly look at the packages and it uses express it uses uh, jade uh, morgan for login http errors uh, debug um, yeah no, nothing nothing really big. Uh, so it should be should be running fine uh, let me try that uh, npm start and uh, it misses some uh, packages installed i'm guessing it locally first actually uh, yeah i always uh, you know uh, like when you build the image with uh, with the js and uh, and uh, there is a step like uh, where to tell dependencies and uh, i read it like multiple times but i still don't remember uh, like uh, i think you should uh, you should do in after you copy package JSON, right, and and, and uh, you ignore node modulus uh, on local, is that uh, is that correct, Andrew? You, you mean in sense of Docker? Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah, basically, usually node modulus are in Docker Docker ignore uh, mm -hmm. file, and then you copy just uh, basically package package JSON, mm -hmm. package lock or yarn lock or whatever you use. And then mm -hmm. you install everything. So it mm -hmm. creates a special layer inside the Docker. And then you copy the the rest mm -hmm. files, like your original files that will give you an ability not to reinstall every time all, all the modules when you copy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so does this uh, does, does, does this uh, folder already has uh, some Docker file or not? Or we should create it? No, no, it doesn't. Uh, it, it doesn't mm -hmm. have any. Um, uh, let me check <coughs> on which port are we running. Really, App.js is running. Uh, doesn't say here. I think it should be in a, a bin www then. All right. Uh, so somewhere here. Hey, port, where are you? Yeah, it was there, uh, I think. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Let's check it out. All right, we got uh, the um, running server. First achievement unlocked. Uh, let's uh, do, run it in in Docker now. <clears throat> Uh, so uh, I think uh, the easiest uh, is uh, to run node. What what we said there, uh, the node eighteen, right? Docker run node eighteen. Uh, bin o uh, bin sh, right? Uh, I want to run shell, uh, basically, and I want to attach a volume. <coughs> Is it a good plan? It's a uh, uh, good and bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think the the next problem you're gonna have uh, is about not 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 modulus as we just discussed. For example, if you I... have locally different version of uh, node, and you already installed this uh, modulus locally, and then you uh, mm -hmm. copy them as a volume it's going to be a problem but if it's the same version it, it should be fine mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah makes sense uh, makes sense uh, actually it's uh, in 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 most cases uh, i think they are uh, they will be working fine but um, yeah i think what you're saying is um is uh, valid so let's let's actually do this the following let's remove not modless uh, do we want to make a Docker file, or, or it's fine just to run it and um, and uh, to see it inside? I think yeah, I think just run it. Yeah, just let's move map uh, volume mm -hmm. and that's it. Okay. All right. So a Docker, we sh we say uh, run not eighteen minus v for volume, and then I think it should be like that, right? Uh, something. Uh, to the yeah. node, let's say, or to the app, uh, and I want to actually run bin sh. What? 
<laughs> what happened? Uh, it uh, shows me a version. Ah, okay. So it showed it, uh, it, it started at not 18. Uh, I think it uh, showed the version. Okay. I think it might be that uh, I should do it like that. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, you should put. Uh, you should put it be before B B in this age. Yeah. Minus volume or what? Uh, so minus volume should should come after run, then should come uh, not not eighteen and then be in the stage. Ah right right right. Mm -hmm. So move uh, oh, minus course, v course. to. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> I no. think it direct flag I'm missing, right? It oh, yeah. Uh, the, uh, usually they use uh, two, right? Because you also want to... IT. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah IT. Yeah, okay. Nice. Just took us a few minutes, but... Uh, all manual though it makes sense uh, let's go to up okay so that is node minus version k uh, yeah by default interesting uh, not the uh, not uh, base image comes with yarn if i uh, remember correctly no, so really? wow. yeah I, I don't know why i don't know the story behind it but uh, indeed uh, okay and then if i do yarn start yeah, it's, it's running something amazing uh, and if i do yarn start in the background okay and then i do cool local host i got the same response um yeah uh, that was easy so now uh what's our plan we want to run the same in dino right uh, that's what we want to do yeah okay Awesome. Okay, so uh, do we have an image for for Dino? Uh, good image question. Team. I think we should be able to. Yeah, Dino land Dino Cre image. I see. Uh, give me a second. <coughs> Alpine Linux. I think uh, Node.js is also on Alpine Linux. Whew. To start Dino repo shell into the docker runtime okay so it says something like that uh, let's uh, do the following then let's attach our application um, yeah I think I still want to actually execute bin shell right and I need minus V Andrew, help me out. So we can load in Dino. You can uh, you can uh, actually add uh, minus W uh, flock as well. So you will have you will be uh, you're, you're gonna change your working directory to this up, so we don't need to CD to it after uh, uh, every time. Okay. Okay like a, a entry point yeah all right so we are inside and uh, now we have dino here i believe dino minus minus version yeah okay uh nice is it also comes with uh typescript dino it is yeah yeah typescript nice. is um, a built-in uh, for dino uh, so you don't have to transpile your typescript application that's one of the benefits mm. Uh, okay, package log. Yeah, not not model is somehow uh, somehow uh, we were kept. Oh yeah, it's because I, I linked my volume actually. Okay, so we don't need this uh, not mod. Well, let's let's actually. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's uh, let's go. Uh, let's try to run it as this. Uh, Dino, Dino, and then what do we have here? Install script is executable, Dino run and JavaScript or TypeScript <coughs> program. Let's do that. Dino run. Um, uh, up chess, right? Or bin. Uh, yeah, let's. Uh, let's I think bin. Bin. W. Uh, okay. 
yeah, uh, Docker is not super friendly when you, when you do it uh, like that. Uh, yeah, not the uh, bean and uh, www. Okay, Dino run bean www. No, four w's. It's a bit too much. <coughs> Okay, first problem, uh, require is not defined. Well, uh, uh, source of expected result, I think. Dino, require is not defined. Mm. Package. Don't wanna, uh, yeah, actually we won't run it as is, and uh, I, I thought that there is a layer that um, is supporting uh, this um, common JS uh, format already. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, Google it quickly. Dino common JS. So the the problem the problem about require. So if it's gonna be import, it should work, right? Yeah, yeah, but we don't want to transpile anything, I, I think. Hmm. Definitely. What does it say? Um, it's, yeah, as, as uh, I thought, uh, you have something in the standard library, uh, like intermediate layer that can support us. But I thought uh, it should be working as this already. Mm. Let me share my uh, my screen actually. So uh, this guy here, um, they they provide uh, the <clears throat> yeah I. I Call it polyfills. You can call it polyfills, uh, uh, and uh, basically this layer uh, supports API from standard library. Um, okay, one fourteen two. We actually use one. I think no, it was showing one ten three. That uh, by by default uh, they they. One ten three. Oh, that's because I I just uh, was specifying this version. Okay, so yeah. actually, uh, let's try maybe, maybe the latest. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, however, I see the latest is a one twenty eight, and I thought they released one twenty nine with this support. But I'm not entirely <coughs> sure. Mm, yeah, let's uh, let's run it anyways. One Dino latest. <laughs> the worst thing you 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 could do run latest. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. You never know what comes with the latest. <laughs> okay, downloading some stuff. <clears throat> okay, okay, running, city up. I, I ignored your advice, by the way, of um, specifying the entry point for the up uh, folder. Uh, no, it's, it wasn't about entry point. It was about working directory, work dir. Working directory, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, feel free to ignore my advices. <laughs> <laughs> I will, I will. <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so still, uh, have... still same error. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I want. Uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of know about this. Um, how, how to include um, uh, interme intermediate uh, layer, but uh, give me give me a second. I'd like to try. Uh, Maybe there there should be something inside the box for support. <coughs> mm, let's quickly check. There's a, 
Node.js compatibility mod. Is this yeah, something yeah, yeah, we yeah. are looking for? Uh, yeah, yeah, sort of that. Uh, where do you see that? Um, let me share it right in PC. Mm. I sent it to the chat. <clears throat> Uh, okay, compatibility mode that makes it possible to run a subset of programs authors for not just directly. Okay, okay, okay. So what it does, uh, it is unstable in the out. <laughs> uh, interesting. Which version? Yeah, you know, I don't, but have now. but basically, if you if you move to the latest version, uh, it says four four on this page. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, it exactly. Could be something I, I, outdated. I think <clears throat> I, I think it should be a sort of default in uh, in the latest uh, versions. <clears throat> okay, using npm Node.js code. Uh, yeah, I will. Quickly check. <clears throat> Runtime. Using npm packages with npm specifiers. The standard node library here. Its primary focus provided. It also provides mechanisms for loading common JS models into Dino. Uh -huh. This is Dino Doc, I understand. Loading common JS model. So they, in in this tutorial for the latest one, uh, they suggest to uh, to use uh, the uh, standard uh, library node um, uh, node polyfills, and uh, uh, that's not what I was looking for. So let me check your link again because that looked more promising to me. Okay, okay, okay. Can you maybe just try com compat command? Compat flag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, flag. Just to quickly check if it works or not. <clears throat> uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, quickly trying it in terminal. You don't see that. Uh, yeah, let me share it actually. Now. Okay. Compat unstable. Yeah, it's. Uh, I, I have a different uh, version uh, now, so it's. Um, it's also not uh, not perfect. Let's uh, uh, let's maybe try this one. Seventeen two it was. What about eighteen two? Still has it. Yeah. Okay. Twenty three four. Yeah, it's a bit mess here. Uh, does it say something about common JS? <coughs> Implemented as in Node.js. Well, well, yeah. Okay, I will. I will try this uh, just this version then. Uh, One eighteen two should be fine. Uh, Docker run. Dino. So okay, your flag was uh, minus W uh, minus W and then up like that. Uh yeah. Work. Let's try that. <laughs> of course. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Why it's again the old eye? It's a new version. Yeah, yeah. So the latest one doesn't have this compatibility, uh, at least compatibility uh, article that we're looking at at version eight one eighteen two. Uh, do you use any browser terminals, by the way, or in browser uh, in terminal browsers, uh, Andrew? 
No, but I was thinking about it like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> so to, <laughs> yeah. to, to be able to show everything from the terminal would be really nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I tried uh, <clears throat> recently one, uh, what was that? Lynx, I think it was called. Lynx, like um, a big cat. Uh, it, yeah, it, it's, uh, it uh, allows you to do stuff like a browser, but in terminal. So very cool stuff. Uh, like uh, useful when you have to do some uh, interactions with um, with a browser. Like um, sometimes you need a, a double um, authorization. You know, like first go to browser, click some link, and then, uh, mm -hmm. then you can actually authorize an application. So use uh, terminals for your instances. Uh, then that can be useful. Yeah. Um, okay. So uh, minus minus version. Okay, uh, we good. Dino run compat compat unstable. Dino run compat. You have a battle uh, there, right, Andrew? What is going on? Battle. <laughs> yeah, I, I hear some uh, sound of battle. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's just regular stuff. <laughs> His battle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need okay, to. I need to prepare my room to to have some, you know, noise canceling layer. Mm. Yeah, you can use a standard library for that. I think. Downloading, still downloading. Yeah, it's interesting. What it'll actually? Uh, yeah, it it looks like. A, so how Dino works? It doesn't. Uh, Require you to install pre-install dependencies. So first, it will, first run, it will actually download everything. Uh, it will cache it on your local system, and um, uh, after that, uh, yeah, you, you can uh, revoke uh, your cache if, if it's needed. So what I see here is downloading uh, the standard uh, uh, node layer here. I think it's a good sign. It, uh, but uh, it also. Um, um, my my thought is that uh, it it behaves as it as if we would uh, explicitly specify that we want to use it in this compat uh, mode. So like uh, when we specify the flag, then uh, they will uh, they, they um, seem to preload this uh, intermediate layer of uh, polyfills. Sort of makes sense. Okay. What about Docker? Because we we are in the Docker right now. Uh, okay. That that's fine. What what about Docker? Yeah, yeah I meant like uh, when you run Docker image, you uh, I mean that production, you at least expect that everything is already pre-installed. I mean about this process installation. Uh, like not modulus. So what what do you mean? No, no, no. Like you build the Docker image, you put it in the Docker registry, and then you run uh, it in yeah, production, yeah, and you yeah, just I expect it. it start to instantly. Not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it has a it has a, a ability to do that. I think if you do Dino install, it will basically go through through the code, uh, check all the requirement uh, dependencies, and install them and cache them. So you have this uh, step. You don't have to run it. Let's say. Um, yeah, uh, so uh, so far so good. I see uh, a different error now. It it says uh, Dino uh, misses a low read, and uh, this is another uh, nice feature of Dino. I don't know, Andrew, if you saw um, so or knew it before. So uh, Dino has uh, this um, uh, idea of. Uh, uh, it, in comparison to Node.js, it uh, disables um, access to your system by default. And if you want actually your application uh, to, to have some rights on your system, you have to specify it explicitly. So this is one of the examples. Allow read. Basically, uh, now Dino is complaining like, uh, OK, uh, your application is trying to use something locally, like trying to read from a local directory, but you didn't specify this flag. and. Uh, now that that's why it cannot be uh, cannot be run, uh, and uh, I think I think it's a nice addition actually, a nice comparing to Node.js, which allows you to do everything by default almost, or used to do that at least. Uh, so uh, I would say Dino run uh, same command, and we want to add allow read now, allow read. And checking quickly 
yeah, I think allow read, you can also specify what exactly you want to allow to read. So I think by default, if you don't specify an argument a value for this flag, it will um, allow you read all the file system and uh, that's fine for, for us now. So I, sh I think I should be able to do that. Now, I hope it will complain about something else like, um, uh, okay, so now it's, uh, you see, we, we, uh, we actually evolve in it. So it, now it says, okay, uh, you allow the read dependencies and that's fine. We don't have this error anymore. But now it says it also your application requires to, uh, to read environment variables and you don't specify oh, the flag. Let me guess. Allow, allow end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you can also specify which x you want to, uh, or which variables you want to allow to read. Uh, it's cool, isn't it, Andrew? Uh, you think uh, from security point of view, is it? Uh, um, yeah. How how do you uh, how do you perceive it from security point of view? Yeah, it's better. It's much better than just Node.js when you don't have this option. But anyway, if you run it in, in the Docker, you, as part of the Docker or Kubernetes, you, you already can define what what you can access and what you could. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's uh, it's also true. So last part uh, and uh, also related to what we said. Uh, so the same, but now it's also uh, want to uh, start something running on your uh, local port. And we didn't specify this flag, man. <laughs> You know, I, I I feel myself that we we're gonna spend an hour trying to find all the flags we need to specify. Yeah, you can you can also put a flag allow all. I think. Uh, oh really? Case, if you don't. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> allow net and then dot bin www. Yeah, I think it's the last one. Good sign. <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> not yet, I think. Yeah, let's um, cross fingers. Uh, yeah, interesting. Uh, so it should theoretically use uh, uh, the node modules that we uh, that we already pre-installed. It might be that it's actually running it because uh, I think it doesn't output anything, right? When uh, we didn't see any log from it. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Let's uh, let's give it a try one more time. So seems to run it fine. So I'll put it uh, as a daemon now. Uh, LSO, do we have LSO here? No, we don't have LSO, okay. A PSOX, no, no, not a PS. Uh, okay, then just curl a local host. And of course, no curl, okay. Um, uh, do we have something like uh, what do we have here? Is it uh, was it uh, okay? Apt get uh, try if you get install. maybe. Well, it's also fine. No, 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 no. Apt get install pure, right? That should be fine. Build to locate apt get upgrade, right? What should I do? Update, I think. What's the difference between apt get and the apt space get uh, apt uh, install? I think it's uh, it's just another S, I think. Another 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 sorry what? Alias. Shorthand. I think. Ah, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it. For for people who you know who hate uh, spaces. <laughs> Uh, yet I uh, I think I will uh, actually show you one more interesting functionality from Dino. Uh, but uh, first, I want to uh, use uh, PS. I think I want to install PS utility first, uh, just to see if my application is running. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so it's Alpine image, but uh, sort of minimized, so it doesn't have any um, system utilities. Uh, but uh, yeah. Anyways, I want to show you uh, one cool thing about the one more thing cool thing about Dino Dino cool TS um, uh, I have somewhere actually in my script sit so let me give me a second I will um, quickly find it on my local instead of Google D 
Dino Run. Uh, ok, 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 ok. Almost there. Uh, yeah, so cool thing. So how Adina started actually promoting themselves, they um, they wanted to, uh, yeah, like a really cool, um, uh, yeah, how do I say that? Uh, sellers like uh, like um, they want to sell this product really. Um, um, <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry, uh, yeah, completely lost uh, thought. So, like, uh, it's really something um, uh, in in their demos, and they uh, they have this functionality in Dino, which allows you to download script um, uh, remotely, remotely located, and then execute it uh, in the same time. So, what I uh, trying to do now, they have um, uh, an example of um, scripts, like if I do. Uh, yeah, like this one, for example. So it, it says that uh, you can run this script uh, locally, like a uh, Dino run, and then specify this uh, curl. Oh, no, nice. it, it should. Uh, yeah, and it it, it that one con contains. Uh, uh, yeah, a code to basically do a curl for us. So that's what we want. Uh, Localhost three thousand. Okay, and doesn't have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I uh, messed it up. D Dino run again. And then local host 3000. Okay, scheme not supported. Makes sense. HTTP. Yeah. Another option would be just share this port on Docker and try to call it outside of Docker. Can you repeat that? Uh, in, another option would be uh, to share this port uh, 3000 uh, on, yeah. on the Docker mm -hmm. and then we can call it outside of Docker. Yeah, uh, very true. I, I try to also minimize uh, uh, minimize our environment a bit. Uh, so you see uh, the cool thing uh, it it said oh okay uh, now invalid URL what is that uh, what is this about allow net uh, do, do does they have an example how to run it maybe you need to pass a URL like a flag or something yeah <coughs> in, the, in this uh, curl ts Mm -hmm. Yeah, it might be that actually my uh, my uh, curl version is a bit outdated. I shouldn't specify the exact version of a standard library, and it will uh, it will wor be working. Actually, we don't have uh, much time left, and we didn't touch uh, ban yet. So let's um, let's quickly finish this one. I hope it would work. Come on. Oh, I will just uh, do. Okay. Property doesn't exist. Yeah, that doesn't doesn't look good. Uh, so uh, what we did before? Apt get right. Apt get. Get install cool. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, man. So the idea was good, but uh, for some reason this uh, cool script that didn't work. Actually, it uh, it's, it's actually usually fine, uh, fine working. I don't know what exactly went wrong in this case. Dating certificate. Go on, go on. So what about usually bun? What working. do you know about bun? Yeah. <laughs> nothing, nothing except nothing. Uh, the fact that they appeared on the scene like a couple of months ago. And was mm -hmm. saying like pretty much, uh, pretty much the same as Dino. Like we could support uh, almost uh, almost everything from Node.js, and you can run it, and it's much faster. Here's the performance things. But then when you can try to look uh, a bit deeper into this, it's not like just using the same application. Still need to to put some effort to 
modify it like you you do now with Dino. Mm -hmm. uh, interesting, uh, interesting <coughs> thingy. So uh, after I did the cool request uh, to my uh, local host, it says now some error. I, th I think it goes from application itself, but it's uh, really weird. Like it, it. Um, so basically, it shows a stack of uh, uh, used in Dino itself. But uh, at least I think the the server is responding. It's it's just uh, it's uh, not uh, doing everything right. So yeah, let's conclude then at this step. So so like a run a ban a sage that you posted and uh, uh, the same right. Yeah, 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 let's try this. And it's it's under Jared Sumner, so I guess it's an author of Bun, isn't it? Uh, probably, but it's it's on mm -hmm. the official doc saying that. Okay. And we running on bleeding edge, I see. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what could go wrong, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> I like this exercise. So, right, uh, okay. Interesting. What? Uh, uh, what's in? Is it Alpine as well? Did you did you check that? Uh, not really. Okay, thanks uh, for just pointing me to the latest image then, it uh, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so how should I run it afterwards? So we have a bun inside, right? Bun minus minus version. Yeah. Zero to zero. Pro. <coughs> That's a solid, a solid version. Seems that like uh, I want to use this one for my production. What, was it a joke? <coughs> <laughs> Everything is a joke uh, this time, I think. And actually, okay. I see beta of, of uh, zero to one. Um, should should we use this one instead? Or zero to zero is enough? Uh, but uh, yeah, command, yeah. Uh, command, uh, Andrew. What's uh, what's our plan with ban? Run the same command. Let's try this. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, ban run. I like uh, this. Uh, how this sounds. And then bean. www. Okay. Ban run. Bean. www. Yes. Ls bean. No, it, it doesn't run, unfortunately. What does it say? Illegal instruction. Illegal instruction. Code target. Interesting. If I Google it, I see it's actually coming from a different a different project. Do you know what is a gamel? No. Camel. Camo. Camo. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's uh, it's just like something different. I mean, it's not uh, it's not a way to run Express like like that. They are suggesting to write yeah, exactly. uh, your own exactly. server. Exactly, exactly. So that what I thought. Like, uh, I I think Ban is used for. Uh, cloud-based uh, uh, applications, so you actually have to make it a bit uh, uh, different setup. Like in, in the example here, they uh, export, uh, like a, I think this is a, a application configuration, uh, well, a web server configuration. So this one looks like we'll be running on 3000 and uh, this one will be handling responses. Oh, requests uh, for for the web server, uh, but they say they they uh, support node layer, right? They say here including ninety percent of node API. 
native functions. So I'm wondering how this um, intercompatibility works for LAN. Do they have some doc here, maybe? Reference. Uh, let's maybe uh, let's maybe try their example and also include in some system system libraries from Node.js. And how do you do that with a common JS or import syntax as the usual? No, no, no. I mean to to have another application with a one one serve as I suggested. <coughs> yeah, yeah. That that's uh, Plan B. I think uh, I I still. To, to, to check if they have, um, let's say, to use uh, mm. to use uh, the standard uh, Node.js applications. Like a Dino has, uh, right? Uh, the compatibility mode, we found it. So maybe the same applies here. Uh, this is a Node an API. So this en enables um, uh, you to register additional plugins into your and not just uh, environments, so it's not what we're looking for, I guess. Famous image about not modulus. It says ban install can be used uh, to for for them. So ban surf is a, will will uh, definitely uh, start this cloud like functions, but I'm still wondering if we can use just Node.js application with a uh, with ban running Node.js app with ban. Like this one. Uh, so many articles about how to perform uh, yeah. but versus everything, but not how to run the simple example with Express. Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, this one is uh, interesting. It uh, seems that they can easily run it. Let's get started. So they say they have kind of as we have, but they don't uh, specify here how to run it. Uh, do you have any better example maybe? No, still, still looking for. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Maybe I should do ban install, and uh, after that uh, it will start working. Ban install Express, Express JS, how it's called, like the module. Just one install, I think it should recognize uh, on the package JSON. I hope so. I, I will, I'm doing bun install in the background. Let's see if that succeeds. Mm. So far, not that much. Batteries, ban implements not working, so we can use npm packages in ban, transpiler, okay. So did it work, the ban install? Second, now it's uh, it's kind of hanging. I'm not sure what uh, what's going on there. <laughs> <laughs> B 
Ban run start, I will try to. No, it still gives me this um, error. Camo. Like this one. We'll show it on the screen. And code target signal for illegal construction core dumped. Do you have uh, M1 Apple? Do I have? Uh, CPU M1, you have it, no? Um, oh, Intel, I mean. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <clears throat> because I found this error and some of them was referring to, the, to that thing. And uh, does it have a solution? No, no, not even, no, no, not even related to to ban itself, but even with other libraries. Mm. Yeah, exactly. What I googled before, it's, uh, it seems that um, some random error, not uh, not from ban, but maybe used in the. So it's, it can be from a Docker even. Yeah, first, first thing is from Strapi. I think it's another uh, API framework. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. Um, okay. So, any solution for that? Do you have a? Oh yeah, it's already too late. If we if we can quickly in three minutes. Yeah, yeah. Let me try to install Ban. Maybe try it locally. <coughs> Do you have? Uh, do, do you have this error even from ban install, right? Ban install keeps silent for me. Ah. It's, uh, maybe I can put a flag, like a verbose flag or something like that. Well, uh, yeah, indeed, I, I can try in a, in the meantime, like we don't have much time left, so just last experiment maybe. Uh, maybe I can indeed uh, do the original, uh, yeah, the, the Hello World example. <coughs> Let's see. The uh, ban, uh, .js. Okay, and then I do bun run bun JS. No, same, same for me. Okay. Shall we conclude it, Andrew? Then did you did you install bun? Uh, yeah, but uh, I don't have the project. Okay, uh, can you share your screen? Just uh, one, two minutes. Uh, let me try.
Actually, it's still installed and done through the hmm. brew. Okay. Well, that was a, a morning code hour. Andrew, what are your uh, impression of um, uh, of Ban versus Dino versus Node.js so far? What's uh, what's your takeaway? My takeaway is still use Node.js. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Dino is sort of worked, right? It started our application in the end. Uh, it started some application, but not our. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. All right, uh, then um, everyone have a good um, weekend. We we will announce something for them later on. So have a gr great coding, everyone. See ya. Bye-bye.